Didn't make much progress this week. I'm still waiting for my third tube to come in. And uh, I did get a chance to align the one that I have. And what I used to insulate it here is I just took and went and got some countertop samples from Home Depot. A little bit of Formica countertop samples. Cut them up. Even strips. And I did get a chance to put it together, but I wanted to show you how I got the bottom bolt to seal. I just went to my local hardware store, got a, a couple of nylon washers, like for a, a toilet seat hold down, and I've got some, this black right here is some 3 8 uh, nylon fuel line, automotive grade stuff. And basically, uh, goes through my half inch hole in my case there and the black nylon fuel line goes inside the plastic washers <coughs> to prevent any kind of connection from occurring there with vibration and and whatnot and I've had this apart probably half a dozen times or so and it seems to hold pretty well it's nice and rigid the, the cell doesn't wiggle around a lot inside the case which is some of the problems that I found with some of the earlier methods I tried to use to assemble I tried a couple of uh, rubber washers to get it to seal but they they weren't rigid enough and I tried these fiber washers that I also got at my local hardware store and the problem with those was that the water would leak through them over time so this seems to be the best method I've found so far of getting the bolt to seal to the case and I haven't haven't built the the lid for the cell yet so I don't have any idea about what it's producing for gas but I did put a little bit of electrolyte in it the other night and it was drawn about 25 amps and uh, I was I was impressed with the results but I don't have any figures on on production yet so keep watching and I'll keep you updated